Good evening. My name is Ernest Owens, and you're watching 6IQ News Houston. Hi. My name is Ernest Owens, and you're watching the Ernest Experience. It's beginning to drop, and it begins to get real chilly right now in the fall. You know what time it is. Cuffing season. Yes, the time of the year when people want to stay indoors, not necessarily be outside playing. Hello. My name is Ernest Owens, and you're watching the Ernest Experience. In light of the recent mental health fatalities that have happened on campus, I decided that I want to dedicate this show to cover mental health issues, but around? we're going to talk about people who survived these issues. And no one had a more inspiring story recently than my good friend right here, Jack Park, who overcome mental health issues surrounding suicide. So what is your name? My name is Stephanie Seifert, and I'm a biology student at UPenn in the Brisson What's the best part of working at the Digital Laboratory? I like the, the wide variety of uh, disciplines that the students and postdocs come from. What was your first career choice? My love for science really grew in high school. Um, I got a full scholarship to the premier high school back in the Philippines. Breaking news, parents and residents are protesting outside of Jones High School as the school district decided to close it down. This comes as a surprise to many residents who have been sending their kids there for nearly three years is chivalry really dead? Many people don't think it is, and many people don't want it to die. As our society continues to progress, there are many other caveats that are making people consider the way they do it. Should women really pay for the first date? Can they pay for the first date? Do they want to pay for the first date? Or if the guy does pay for the date, is he thirsty and have other alternatives? As many of our, I guess, guests have said, it's really complicated. The topic of chivalry within itself can't be answered in one episode, and I'm not going to give you all the answers. But what I will give you is this. Everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and respect. Because if we don't, then we all are going to need chivalry. What is the best part about working at the Lighty Laboratory? It's uh, kind of at the interface between theoretical work and uh, sort of applied sciences. So can you tell me more about what your thesis project is on? So my thesis project is looking at host-parasite interactions. Now it's time to seal the deal, make the call, send a text message. By now you should have received the number. It's very important at this and this step in the game to not mess up. What is the best advice you give to those exploring a career in the field? So I, I would advise students to take a wide range of classes in science or humanities or you know whatever. What did you? What steps did you make to get to this point where you are now social? You're willing to have coffee chats with people, even in your piece you put your phone number in the um, column and you have many phone calls. You have a girlfriend now, I'm told. Yeah, um, it's great. What did, what did it take to get to that point? Where I just, I just kind of sat there and a lot of people kept, you know, pouring me kind of un unconditional love. Because, you know, I might try to do it again. I might try to kill myself in my room, right? Yeah. So she was like, okay, okay. And she was just, just sitting next to me like all day for three months. I'm really sorry. It's okay. it's okay. I saw my mom cry so much. But at the moment, I was so... My perception was so skewed okay. that I thought even my mom didn't love me. How far do you want this thesis project to go? The lessons I've learned in this lab, ultimately I want to apply to translational research. One of the... And other news. City of Houston is, has decided today, effective immediately, that they're going to start cracking down on unattended barking dogs. These dogs have become a pester for many residents in the greater Houston area, as many communities are having to spend unnecessary fines and fees in helping to eradicate many of the droppings and other things that are in the area. Until then, my name is Ernest Owens, and you're watching the Ernest Experience. My advice helps you with cuffing season this fall. I really hope that you can be able to Really find that special someone. And if you don't, there's always that pillow next to you. Until then, my name is Ernest Owens, host of the Ernest Experience. Have a great fall and enjoy your cuffing season. I'm just so happy and grateful that you decided to come on the show and just talk to me and the rest of Penn in a row, you know, because I think more stories like that is important. So, how far would you want this thesis project to go? Well, ultimately, I would like to continue working in vector biology. Um, and hopefully I can produce um, sort of good science that will be translated into good policy, good health policy. That is the news today on March 11, 2014 at 6IQ News, Houston. <laughs>